Most new Macs today do not come with CD or DVD drives, but in VLC we are still able to open those style of DVD file formats known as VTSs. In this folder on the desktop, I have the movie Abominable in a VTS format. If I just open this folder and show you what it looks like on the inside, you may think, what am I supposed to do with this? But don't worry, the solution is very basic and straightforward. To open this video file so that it plays like a DVD, we first need to go up to File in the menu bar and select Open Disk. You will be presented with this box and a button that says Open Video TS File. Clicking the button allows me to navigate to my desktop where my folder is and select it. As you can see, all the contents are greyed out, but that's fine as we just need to select the folder and hit open here. We are brought back to this window, and as you can see, Abominable is written here, and if we hit open, we are presented with the DVD interface you would expect. This interface works in the exact same way you would expect, and as I drag my cursor over the menu, you can see it is highlighting the different options. I'm just going to select chapters here and pick this scene at random to demonstrate how quick and easy this works. And as you can see, no delay whatsoever. To navigate within this DVD, we just come up to playback on the menu bar and if you scroll down to the bottom where it says chapter, from this menu we are able to jump to any chapter of this movie. And just above where it says title, we are able to access shortcuts to any title screen and most usefully the DVD menu. If you treat this file like a DVD, you shouldn't have any problems navigating and playing your movie. So that was how to open a disc in VLC. Check out the next video where I will demonstrate using VLC to stream videos from the internet.